Hello, folks. It's official. There's a new release of Wagtail out in the world. And I'm here to show you a quick demo today of all the great new things that you can find in Wagtail 6.0. So this is a listing page in our demo site. You'll notice a number of the things that we've added in the past few releases, um, such as this add child page button so that you can quickly add pages directly to your listings. Uh, we also added these quick action menu items so that all your actions are contained here and you can quickly make edits, move things around, stuff like that. Uh, we also added, uh, made the search bar more robust and easier to find so that you can search for things according to keywords. Uh, the thing is that, you know, if you have a lot of content uh, and you search for things according to keywords, you might still come back with a ton of results. And so for Wagtail 6.0, we added this great new feature. You'll notice here we have this show filters button that you can click now, and now you can drill things down according to categories. Uh, so if I wanted to look at only blogs, like I could do by page type. So I could look at blog pages and look at only blogs. If I wanted to look at a specific date range, I could look at a specific date range. I could look at things according to who owns the content, who edited the content. If my Wagtail website has multiple sites contained into it, I could order things according to site. I could look at whether things have child pages or not. And especially exciting, if you have a website with multiple languages, you can also organize things according to locale. This is a great new feature. Feature. Um, as somebody who knows that half the battle of updating a page is finding it sometimes, uh, this is just going to make my life so much easier. It's going to make your life so much easier. I think you're really going to like this one. All right. Uh, let's head on over to uh, one of our content pages here. We still have a lot of the great features that our editor is known for, uh, like making things really easy to collapse and scroll through. Uh, we also stream field and adding blocks to your heart's content is still here looking great. Um, so for the most part, things haven't really changed here on the left side of the editor. Now, if we go over to the right side, you'll notice something different. Uh, we still have the status panel here uh, and the live preview panel here, but next to the live preview panel is something brand new. You have something called the checks panel with these little eyeglasses here. And the checks that are contained in there right now are our accessibility checker checks. Yes, we have a built in accessibility checker that looks for issues in accessibility right in your content. You used to have to open up a whole new page into the preview page in order to see what your errors are, but now you can do that right in the editor. So I can see that I have an issue here with my content. Uh, looks like I have an incorrect heading hierarchy. Usually that means like, you know, there's an H2 before an H1 or an H3 before an H2, something like that. And, you know, things may look fine over here in the preview, but clearly there's an issue that I need to fix here or people with screen readers are not going to have a good time. So let's have a look here. Um, this one looks a little suspicious. That's an H3, but what about the one above it? Uh, yeah, that's also an H3 when it should be an H2. So I'm going to go ahead and change that, save my draft, and everything reloads. And we go back to our checks panel here. And look, I got a nice green zero. No more issues. Yay. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that uh, and also look into customizing the checker as well, because you can add custom rules according to what your organization needs. All right. So one other thing I want to show you that we're super excited about in this release is uh, this is the admin account settings here for the website. And we're going to go down to locale here and we're going to look at the languages and you'll notice that we have some right to left languages in here and we now have support for those. So when I choose one and click save on the account details, the whole thing switches up and everything mirrors. And so now we have support for those languages. So if you are in need for languages like Arabic or Persian or Hebrew, Wagtail can now support that. Now, I, I don't speak this language, so I'm going to go ahead and switch things back to English here so that I can be able to find things. Uh, but that's a really, like, people have been asking for that one, and we're more than happy to deliver that. There are also some great things under the hood in Wagtail 
6.0. We now have support for Django 5.0. We have a lot of great new things that the developers love. Check out the release notes for that. Uh, we also still have a lot of the great features that editors enjoy, like dark mode. Um, honestly, this is a great release. I'm super excited about it. I think you should be too. Please go check it out.